Hello, my name is Mimi and I am the co-creator of Dot, which is a pre-made bullet journal. Now we have gone in and done a lot of the different templates for you to be able to use throughout the months. And so what you can do is just go in and do the fun parts of filling that in and coloring it in to make it your very own. So today specifically, I am going to go through mood trackers, how best to use them, how to get the most out of it. I will talk about the key and the legends and how I filled mine out, but how you could easily fill yours out as well, and then how to fill it in. So stay tuned and we'll go through it. So what is a mood tracker? It's basically exactly how it sounds. It's tracking our mood day to day. So then at the end of the month, we have a fun and colorful way of being able to see exactly how we did that month. So in your key down below, this is not filled in. I haven't even put in how many you should have. That's all a personal thing. So maybe you only want one or two. Maybe you want 20. It's completely up to you. What they are actually called is also up to you. If you want to go quite granular, you're more than welcome to. Maybe you want to do a star rating system instead of actual words. If you don't know how to express how you're feeling, maybe we can go off a star rating. So it's really up to you with how you do it. I am so excited to see how you guys fill this out. Um, as you can see, mine have a couple of different ones some days, and that's just because I'm feeling different things throughout the day. So I like to keep a um, note on that. And I'm very lucky that this uh, month I haven't felt anxious a whole heap, which is very unusual for me. So I'm very excited to be able to visually see that and realize how far I've come as well. So this is a really fun and accurate way to then track uh, your mood throughout the month. We have a lot of different themes throughout all of our months. Um, and so I'll just show you a couple more. So we've got uh, a very cute little leaf one that we can do. Uh, and then I'll show you one more. We've got a little fox, so you get to color him in. So you could do it colorful. You could choose different types of browns or oranges that you might use throughout the month as well. So I'm very excited to see how you are going to fill these out. Um, but if you've got any questions, pop them in the comment section and we'll get back to you.